Alright, this is Chun Chun here and for today's topic, we're going to talk about legal of millionaire real estate developer. So, for today's topic, it's just focused on legal because when you are doing real estate developers, surely you will meet a lot of people who are attorneys, lawyers, financial advisors, accountant, construction, maintenance person, influencers and contacts a lot of people. But today we pick up the part of the legal so that for example when you are doing real estate you sure are gonna deal with some lawsuit or everything else so you're gonna partner or you're gonna work with a great attorney with you or we call a great lawyer so you come into the key to choose a lawyer or want to partner with the lawyer the three key attribute of a great attorney is the first they're gonna have the knowledge of the law second is a good local reputation third is a solid real estate experience so the we will move on further and uh, talk about this later so when you come into hiring or you partner with a Tony so you're gonna have the mindset yeah you must be a leader just like what fought before they do he is a person that uh, don't have the much the all the education or the knowledge but he will have a lot of professional people work with him when he, he is doing his car business he has his engineers just like and the case that when the reporter go and interview him then and the re reporter talk to him is telling the thought that actually Ford didn't know anything about the car or something else so the reporter they test Ford and um, push them a lot uh, push him a lot of questions and ask Ford to answer it when they talk about the engineering question so the Ford will telephone has a handphone and then he call his engineer come in to answer the question when they ask about the management question so Ford will tell their management CEO come here to answer the question so after they asking the question of the accounting so Ford will call about the accountant come here to answer the question so for this purpose is why you gonna talk like you're gonna be like Ford what we thought is you are leader in real estate developer business when you are a leader which means that you are partnered with a lot of professional but you are the person who make the decision so that they help you to do the task that the vision that you want to accomplish that's what the must that you want to do so when you come into choosing the team member to as a team so that when you come into choosing people is what Warren Buffett always will be like is you're going to choosing the people which means is integrity intelligence and energy these three points very important when you find out that a person which means is illegal thing always do the uh, something else is not good that you better uh, move up from them because you're gonna have your core member team with your fighting together and then gain the much more for your future later so when you come into choosing the lawyer which means what attorney you're gonna choose the lawyer which means that has the great reputation in that area how you're gonna know that is by asking people in your area you can ask hey whether this attorney is good or not this lawyer is good or great or not so they will tell you about the reputation because you will know that this lawyer or this attorney has a good reputation so you can partner with them and work with them so you want to make sure that your attorney actually is a real estate savvy because in attorney firm or what you call lawyer a lot of just like doctor we have this doctor or lawyer who is in their specialized maybe in some case of the but you're going to choose the lawyer which means is they are expert in real estate they are very focused and don't about the business of the real estate one not to choose the lawyer is go and fight the court another murder case or anything case that but but you're going to choose the real estate attorney which means they have the great experience in real estate industry so when it comes to choosing the real estate actually 
you're gonna make sure you're gonna know that a low fee does not a real estate attorney make which means that when you come to choosing the real estate don't pay attention too much on the fee that you choose the lower price of the real estate uh the lawyer or the attorney because real estate law actually is because real estate law and regulation varies from state to state and even from community to community so you can find the real estate actually has the experience and in your area so that or in other area that you want them to focus on and to move on so actually a good lawyer or legal team will know how to shoulder that burden for you when it come to something happen or something you don't know they will help you because the for the recommend recommend from the author that not just about the legal stuff but your real estate attorney also must have some knowledge of accounting also when you the accounting apply in real estate because for choosing the real estate attorney not just about they want to just very very expert in accounting but actually will they will uh, should have the solu- uh, solid foundation of knowledge and able to communicate with you with your accountant without the aid of interpreter and vice versa which means that when something the tax happen any thing that you require to pay tax capital gains or ordinary incomes wealth transfer tax and more that and your attorney should be aware of your tax requirement and address them in the sitting form of your transaction this is very important so when coming to partner with your real estate attorney you're gonna build a harmonious relationship not like you're gonna every day go and sleep with the lawyer or be friends you just be a friends and your partnership together so use your heart to go and deal with people because a feeling of a mutual trust between lawyer and developer is a key to success relationship successful relationship is very important because you don't need to be too much like brother sister but you can be a journey heart that work with them kind so like a partner and then working together have the bond of trust is very important you find a lawyer can be like that so you can work for the long term so when you come into this because your attorney should be open to answer any question you have about building properly and detail without rancor because not just about the lawyer experience you're gonna hire the best legal mind you can afford because you're gonna afford a legal expertise for you to handle all the legal stuff because if you just care about the price but you hire the wrong the lack of experience lawyers it will cost you a lot more your fortune in the future because it can even put you out of business also because this is very least because you find a great experience attorney to help you actually prevention is better than cure so that you can find which means that when you work with your attorney not just you want to pay high price for them but actually it the reasonable price so that you have the women station with them so how to work with your attorney when you come into it is you're gonna find a lawyer or the attorney actually can be willing to meet with you person to person periodically and some information you just don't want to transmit over the phone or fax or anything else so you can talk person to person based face by face is very best for you if not now it's a pandemic or COVID-19 you can set up a Zoom meeting so they will talk to you even more so you also have the responsibility to be open and honest to your lawyer tell them their problem and then this is a privileged relationship and there's no reason to withhold vital information from a trust person working on your behalf this is very important because they can know what you face so that they can help you so when you come into one to meeting with lawyer actually you can have the experience of like thought before they get the meeting they will tell their staff or their team member so 
what we're meeting for today's topic so you can have a phone call and then they prepare first which means that you can ask the lawyer and you can tell them what document you need to you, to you need to bring to them so that you can prepare at the same time so is is you just tell like that they will know and then they will prepare what they should prepare also because they will save a lot of time and will be a great meeting when you handle with it this is very important so when you come into want to sign in any con con contract anything else you need to work with your lawyer it's very important because uh millionaire estate developers has to understand at least the concept that when before you want to sign you don't have to know the jargon but you don't you don't have to understand the meaning of papers you are signing uh, the agreement you are making and the law you are following you're gonna ask for definition in a plain english as until you get the information you need presented so that the manner that you can understand is essential because you know you never sign a document or make an agreement containing a word phrase sentence paragraph or page that you do not fully understand this is very very important when you want to sign in something else you're gonna better you're gonna pack on your lawyer you can have them have a look because there's some terms that very complicated terms but only lawyer can understand it maybe you can get the lawyer can talk better with your language they can translate for you even understanding more that's much more better before you sign any contract this is very important because you are doing million project even billion project in your future is very important for you so when you come to want to hire the lawyer actually it's very sensitive thing is gonna ask is for a charge and a building also because you can prepare much for the price that you can handle and you can know profit for example is does or how does the attorney charge for telephone call because some lawyer when you ask their advice they will charge you through the telephone call and then you'll count by minutes or anything else so you need to ask before you go and seek and look at the lawyer that's better you can have the lawyer they can talk with you and then you can can have a great experience and be a friend that's much more better for you so when coming to the price you want to talk about with lawyer don't try to hammer your lawyer just for the pleasure of getting a lower price this is nothing makes next sense actually because such tactic might bring a bit of temporary pleasure for you but they can fire the long run when you pick up the pocket or the person on your side he or she doesn't remain on your side very long because you just go and have them and you want to cut out the price is no actually when you come to business you want to have the mindset that win-win or no deal you're gonna have the win-win situation so that the lawyer is not charging you skyrocket price it's reasonable price so that you can pay with them so that you can talk and then adjust it at a win-win price so that you can partner with actually it's for the long term it's very important for you also you're gonna find a great lawyer to help work with you with. so this is the method you should approach carefully fully prepare and without emotion but actually is be kind and then win-win situation when we talk about it so when you come to law but because there's always some suing case that everything else you will face but you're gonna control emotion you're gonna deal with it because when you have a great lawyer actually don't waste time money and emotion on unnecessary payback through the lawsuit or any other means this will help you and then will deal with you you're gonna remember prevention is better than cure when you face anything else partner with the lawyer know them and then you can solve the problems so when you talk about lawyers everything else you're going to protect the law or client privilege also when you talk about lawyer because you're going to find the lawyer actually is the privilege communication must be remain strictly between you and your legal representative if a third party is privy uh privy to the communication all bets are off you're gonna find that 
the lawyer actually can have your close communication and then with your lawyer and then is private and confidential so that you can hold on each other to be bought in your future is very privately so this is all the part that you need to know that when you want to hire you want to partner with actually not just about hire but actually when you come into lawyer or attorney you can then set up is like a team member with you so that you can have a partner actually it's like a partner so you can form up an adventure team to move forward and then towards your vision so last but not least there's some advice from this book you can have is the first is for conversation building don't skim on the exterior wall renovation spend more than you anticipate when you come into the project second when the first board is elected focus on the units and make sure you address their punch list item third you can concentrate your renovation work on the most common source of water infiltration the roof windows and exterior wall number four is you're going to be careful that what you promise Gorgi Sierra Boso promising luxury lobbies and other building amenities will bind you to complete them number five is leave association with no money and they will sue this is the legal stuff that you need to know when you're doing the project so number six is communicate with the owners while controlling the association board owners will sue only developers they don't like you're gonna be careful number seven you're gonna face the owners at a meeting it's the cheaper to take the, some heat or verbal abuse than to defend the lawsuit so if you have some if you JV with the owner so number eight is going to appoint owners to be mandatory members of the developers board involving potential in the operation of the association and the earliest possible time will minimize difficulties after turnover number nine don't manage your own development certainly not for the long term you may be a great property manager but you are still the liverpools and therefore tainted new board want to choose their own manager so that you can have a team that's better you have a avenger team to work with you so number 10 you're going to control your sales agent give them a script and make sure they stick to it those sales talk will hurt you later so you're going to choose your sales agent very, very carefully or so you're going to know that what they talk don't be over promised what to the customer rating out need to worry be careful on it so number 11 is remember the building entrance set the tone of the development and set the unit owners finish the lobbies and make sure that the landscaping you install service the first year everything else near state and can know it is a law issue so this is a few point that you can have some better understanding about legal in real estate development so that's for today hope you like it and learn it see you in the future